In this episode, we want to cover on how to customize your Cinema 4D layout. And there are basically two different um, reasons why you want to do this. The first one is after some time and you're getting accomplished or used to Cinema 4D, you will find that you may need some tools more often than others. And that way you can make your workflow in Cinema 4D more efficient and more customized to your needs. The other one is that you have installed a plugin or an add-on and you want to integrate those um, particular buttons of this plugin inside your layout of Cinema 4D. And because we're using the Corona renderer, this is a good uh, example on how to integrate all those Corona functions and buttons in our layout of Cinema 4D. So what we try to accomplish is basically this custom layout over here. It's a very simple version of it. It's just uh, integrated the most important uh, Corona functions in the default layout of Cinema 4D. And furthermore, also the startup layout is then saved as the default layout and it is the same as the corona layout it's just that the startup layout will be the one firing up whenever you start cinema 4d for the first time so the customization is uh, pretty simple let's go, uh, head back to the standard layout this is what you will find in your version probably you can just do a right click anywhere on the layout of cinema 4d except in the editor view um, and then you go to customize palettes and then a new pop-up window will open and you see you get basically every function of Cinema 4D um, inside this manager. So that's the command manager. And what we can do now, and you see uh, you get some outlines here everywhere around the, the user interface. This is because we are now in the edit mode and we can use a search filter here to search for specific functions or things. So if we type in Corona, you see we get all the Corona stuff in here. So the most important things in my opinion is the Corona virtual frame buffer. This is where all the renderings will later on be uh, placed or rendered. Um, and you can just drag and drop the things in your editor so let's add the sky object maybe a corona light that's also very important and maybe um, the corona camera now you have to pay attention here we want to add the corona camera and not the add corona camera tag um, also the, the same thing applies for the corona sky make sure to add the corona sky and not the deprecated um, thing so last but not least, maybe we can even add the sun object. Uh, so we get the sun, the clouds or the sky rather, and the light bulb for the light and the camera. Those are the most important things. Um, remember, you will always find all the other settings here in the Corona menu. So this is just like a quick um, thing. What we can do is actually also, um, because Corona has its own material library and also the Cosmos browser. So in the material library, you find materials. In the Cosmos browser, you find 3D assets as well as Corona materials. Um, so let's have a look uh, if we find the Cosmos thing here. Yeah, there it is. And you remember we had this asset manager of Cinema 4D in this corner over here. So what we can do is we can place our Cosmos browser in the corner over here. So we have both the asset manager from Cinema 4D as well as the Cosmos browser from um, Corona render or rather from Chaos in our editor. When you're done, uh, you can just close this window or what you can also do is to clean that up a little bit more. For example, we can add a group separator. This will um, add this little thing here beside or next to the, to the button and give us some space so that we can visually separate those things, um, yeah. We have different things, yes, it's a fill space. This is what you see up here. This will just be, or fill the space up to, um, well, the most uh, space which is available and therefore uh, separate your layout a little bit to the left, to the center or to the right. Um, so yeah, you can use this um, to clean up the layout. Now, as soon as you close the command manager, you see this goes back to the default mode. And then the last thing you have to do is you have to go to window customization um, and then save layout as. Um, then a new pop-up will appear and I will call this Corona 
renderer just to differentiate between the already available corona thing here in my case um, and then save and you see uh, I have a new layout over here corona renderer and if I want to create the or make this corona renderer layout as the startup layout I go again to window customization and then save as startup layout and then this will be my startup layout that's about it this is just uh, to give you a quick overview on how to customize the user interface of cinema 4d